Affordable Action Pack. We're working, and I wanted to just That's actually big. talk about where, where yes, and this is something that we're working on right now. There, um, part of the, and I wrote about it today, and we call it Pay or Die. Um, I wrote about it on Daily Coast today. A lot of what are called, and you can t fill us in on the details, because I'm not a policy wonk. Kimberly, you know, I just. Details aren't important. Details. Well, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um, there are a whole series of drugs, and I just want uh, that are the the new the new profit center for the pharmaceutical industry, starting in in 2014, are going to be these drugs that are called biologic. <coughs> they are going to be the you know if you think Lipitor is expensive, if you're anyone in your family takes Lipitor, that is nothing. It's the drugs like Herceptin and these biologics and. Uh, that are going to be very, that are going to be unaffordable, essentially, except for very wealthy Americans. We're going to have medical apartheid. If you're rich, you'll be able to pay the $6,000 a month copay, and if you're not, you will just, I don't know, what will happen? You'll die, I suppose. And okay, we're, so now we're already taking steps in the right direction for actually let, allowing. Let me just say, what's happened in Washington is, as you may all know, the lot, and this is not, you know, not me, this is this is fact. The lobbyists are spending a million for a day, and over a, over a million and a half dollars a day, on uh, <coughs> making sure this legislation is goes in their favor. One of the things they're doing that's going under the radar, and we're now trying to, and it's something I want to discuss with you, raise the visibility, is a, an amendment to the health care legislation, which will extend the time period of what these biologic drugs going from brand name to generics. Patent. Patent, right. And these are the drugs of the future. Is this correct? Sure. They are the drugs of the future. So for example, and this is something, you know, there's a diabetic drug here. I was sent a list um, of these, some of these are the most prominent drugs. This is a drug that I gather is used for diabetes called Humulin 50-50, Premix. Human, human, yeah. human insulin. Human insulin. All right. I mean, this I gather is a is one of these biologics. It's very expensive. That's the oldest one. Yeah. Oldest. But I mean, there are a bunch of others. Um, mm -hmm. There's. Uh, yeah, I take one. Pardon me. <laughs> I take one. You take one. Okay. Yeah. There's. I mean, they sent me a list of some of the more you know, Enbrel for rheumatoid arthritis, Remicade, Epigen, Rituxan. A bunch of yeah, yeah, a bunch of these for non-Hodgkins. Avastin is another one, which is unaffordable. Receptin. So what's happened is this leg the the legislation, and this is going through Lasta, Lantis, Avonix, Atris. Well, anyhow, a whole bunch of them. But this legislation, this uh, health, these are these are this healthcare legislation is going to contain an amendment which is going to keep these biologics under under patent for an extended period of time. And um, we are trying to raise awareness. Interesting that the people, the group that's really in the front of this new struggle, which I want to talk to you about, is the American American Medical Students Association. Absolutely. Medical students are in the big vanguard of this fight now. They're going to be. You're going to be reading about them because they're treating. They are sort of seeing the what's happening to patients who cannot pay. Six thousand dollar a month for these drugs. Um, what were we talking about? Well, look, yeah. you, you, write, yeah. you, write a, you write a well read consumer, a well read blog from the perspective of a consumer. Joe, can I um, oh, yes, please, Robert. Yeah, I feel, no, I, I believe now, actually. Okay. That's what but I wanted to thank you so much, thank Kimberly. I'm glad I sat near such a knowledgeable <laughs> man. And I think it's time I leave anyway, because yeah. you're just taking a shot of my bald <laughs> spot. It's, I was hoping you were going to hide mine. Now I'm going to have yeah. to. <laughs> okay. But thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very okay, much. Thank you very much. Can I yeah. just like uh, weigh in on that on the topic of uh, patent life and uh, regular drugs versus biologics? So, so to date, you know, there's only been one that's been approved biologic that has actually been approved to actually go to generic. To date, there's really been no generic biologic products. Is that correct? Keep going. Yes. I want to hear the rest of this. Generic <laughs> biologic products? No, no generics at this point, right? Mm -hmm. I don't believe that they're that have been, been approved. approved for generic. It's not a patent life issue as much as it's an FDA regulatory issue in getting bioequivalents. Bio so it's not a patent life issue. After 20 years, 
depend. But as an industry-driven position, you know, if our patent's going to run out, let's go ahead and look at bioequivalency so you can't do it. For instance, there's a, an old-fashioned drug called uh, contraindicate estrogen, which is made up of unlimited numbers of components from a natural source. And every time anybody starts saying that we've got a generic version of it, the company goes back and says, well, wait, we just discovered that there's another component to it in tiny little bit. So that's another industry-driven um, attempt to extend their protection, protective status. So it's how, how come in like India, with you know this person, this gentleman in India started his own company creating his own pharmaceuticals and said, I'm not going to buy any more from the United States. Where is the patent issue there? Obviously, it's another country, but he's creating, his company is making the same drugs mm -hmm. that, so they're not having the same issues in India that we're having here when it comes to. Uh, not, not true. There, there's an international. There's a question. There's, there's an international. And you don't want anything like that. There's an international free for 